I'm Mark, here to go over basic fabrication techniques and tools to help you successfully complete your vitrazo projects. Come on in! <laughs> Now when beginning a project, it is important to check shading and glass dispersion at seam locations during the template layout process, especially for multiple slab projects. Remember, every slab of Vitrazo is unique. That's the Vitrazo story. Now, since Vitrazo is similar to natural stone fabrication, the most common tooling found in a shop is all you're going to need. No special tooling is going to be required. Let's talk about that a bit. People will often ask if a special blade is required for the saw. The answer is no. However, if you notice excessive chipping during the cut, slow the feed rate down. The trousel cut should be clean and free of chipping. Vitrazo is CNC and router friendly as well in that it responds well to the tooling from position 1 through position 4. After machining, you may notice pinholes or small voids. Those should be filled with a compatible colored epoxy or polyester before taken to final polish. You can learn more about epoxies and polyester glues in the fabrication guide. Let's go over different hand techniques in regards to cutting shaping and wet polishing Vitrazo. For hand cutting you'll always achieve the best result with non-segmented continuous rim diamond blades, continuous rim diamond cup wheels. If you're using segmented cup wheels go ahead and increase the RPMs if you see excessive chipping or gouging. Again continuous rim is recommended. A key point to remember is that a softer touch will always net the best result so be gentle. Vitrazo follows Marble Institute of America's guidelines concerning overhangs, spanning distances, cantilevers, and corbel placement. Something else to consider is sink reinforcement. Similar to natural stone, the front of the sink cutout will need to be reinforced with the insertion of a rod or other industry accepted material. Vitrazo can also be used in outdoor applications and is a testament to the fact it has been successfully installed in various climates throughout the country. When deciding whether or not to use Vitrazo in an outdoor project, consider the freeze-thaw conditions over extended periods of time. We do not recommend installing uncovered installations in area of extreme temperature fluctuation. You can learn more about these tolerances online and in our fabrication guide. Remember, keeping its tolerances in mind will result in a beautiful surface both you and your customer will be proud of.